What is up guys and welcome back to another YouTube tutorial with me Moabi and from our previous video I mentioned that I wanted us to connect to the server remotely. So today I wanted to show you guys how to do that. So first things first, let's log into our server. In your case, control alt delete. In my case, I'm using a virtual machine. Let's close this away and then enter the password. Hit enter. Now, once you're in your system, the first thing that you want to do is go to your server manager. So remember, you can either wait for the server manager to open up automatically by itself or else you can open it manually by yourself by going to the start menu and then selecting the server manager from the tiles. Once this is open, all you have to do is go to local server. And from your local server, you will see the previous IP address that we had set up for our server. Remember, in the previous video, I said select or choose an IP address that you want to use statically for your server so that whenever we want to talk to our server, we can communicate with our server directly. So let's just say you don't want to go through this method to know your IP address. So what you can do again, let's just minimize this because coming back to this, right click on your start menu and then click run. From your run command, type in cmd for command prompt. And then this will open up the command prompt and all you have to do from here is type in IP config, one word. And then hit enter. Now from the IP config, you should be able to see your IPv4, your current IP address of your server. This IP address is the same as the IP address that I see on the server manager. So in my case, my IP address is as follows. So to make sure that we are able to connect to our server remotely, locate the remote desktop and then next to it, you should see either disabled or enabled. In our previous videos, I advise you guys to turn it on and add a user group called everyone. So let's click on enabled. And now if you select users, you can see everyone. But if you can't see everyone, all you have to do is to click the add button then type in every, press the button, check names. That should find the everyone group for you. And all you have to do is click OK, and then OK again, and then OK one last time. Now, we should be able to log into our server remotely. Now, for this tutorial, I'm just going to use my Windows 11 machine in order to demonstrate how to log in remotely into your server. Okay guys, now that we are on our Windows 11 machine, we are just going to press the start menu and then search for remote to open up the remote desktop connection application. All you have to do now is type in your IP address and my IP address is as follows. Press enter. Once you entered your IP address, now, this will prompt you to use your credentials to log in. So, in order to log into the server remotely, we need to enter the credentials. So, for us to do that, all you have to do is click on the More Choices button. Then, click on Use a Different Account. Because we don't have a domain yet on our server, all you have to do is type in Administrator, which is the username, and then your password. Press Enter. Then, once you press Enter, you will see a window that explains certificate error issues with your server. This is not a big deal as such. All you have to do is click on yes. And now guys, we are back into our server remotely. Now, to know whether you are connected remotely to your server or not, you will see this bar here with the IP address of the server that you are connected to remotely. And that is how we can log into our server remotely. So guys, there are many benefits for using remote desktop connection, such as security, configuration, management, and also the ability to log in from any computer remotely. And that is it for this video. Don't forget to leave your comments, questions, and suggestions in the comment section below. And I will see you on the next video. Remember guys, each one, teach one.